I'd like to announce that uh, on behalf of the board ng IAP, today, uh, to this morning is the launching of our uh, uh, to, uh, Psalm 57 or uh, I will awaken the dawn or I want, no? I will awaken the dawn. And uh, maganda yung nalagay nyo rito, no? Psalm 57 movement. That could be also be an appropriate title for this uh, sequel of our worship warfare intercession. So I what, no? I W A D. What next after the worship versus worship? Sino po ang uh, naniniwala na minagyari doon sa ating ginawa? Yeah, we should be men and women of faith. Palapakan natin ang Panginoon. <clears throat> oh, ganun, no? Pag even even when I cast out demons, pag ayaw malis ang demons, bahala ka sa buhay mo, basta pinalayas ka na namin. So, and then the demons just leave. You stand in faith. Uh, we don't have to repeat it, so we sought the Lord, and uh, this is the uh, part two, or sequel of Worship Warfare Intercession. And this is the official uh, poster ng IFP <clears throat> based on Psalm 57. Nga natin to. My heart is my heart is steadfast. I will sing and give praise. Awake up my glory. Awake up lute and harp. I will awaken the dawn. That's the verbatim. Uh, title of this uh, sequel, I Wad, or I Will Awaken the Dawn. Ito po yung gagawin natin. And this will uh, uh, develop a lifestyle once again. I remember about 28 years ago when we've been going to South Korea, uh, I mean, intention and church, I, uh, just the church growth, no? maybe more than 28 years ago. Because I, I think it was before IFP was born. Uh, and then uh, we were so impressed by the dawn prayer ng uh, uh, South Korea that gave way for the massive revival. I think the revival in South Korea is being understated because it transformed the whole nation spiritually, economically, and uh, socially. You know? It transformed the whole nation. Uh, for a uh, hundred years that uh, it was uh, our Tori the third of Jesus Abbey we, we were we were privileged to go there me and Pastor Ed and Beulah and was it Nona or yeah Atinona and Atinonet Atinonet yeah we were there the Jesus Abbey is a mountain, is, is a prayer mountain in the middle of nowhere, in the wilderness. It's in the mountains of South Korea. South Korea is mountainous, okay? But it's in the mountain of South Korea, and uh, we heard, even if you Google it, two kilometer radius before approaching or before uh, arriving at the Jesus Abbey, uh, you can already feel the presence of God, two kilometer radius because of that prayer mountain. And we went there six hours by train. That's a long way, no? Six hours by train. And it was uh, almost winter time when we, we went, went there. But our Tori the third, the reason why we went there is that we were planning to invite our Tori the third. To me, he is the father of uh, dawn prayer in South Korea. He's a missionary. He's the third generation from our A. Tori, the revivalist. Parang grand-grandson siya ni uh, our A. Tori, the third. But when he came to Korea, ang kanyang aim is not to stop to put up a, a seminary, which normally uh, American uh, missionary does, uh, or, or, or conduct a massive uh, evangelistic campaign. Uh, but ang kanyang mandate was to teach the Koreans um, how to pray. So minentor niya si Leong Gicho, yung mga great leaders ng South Korea. Minentor niya yon. In fact, when he died, he was honored as an, uh, nationally by the whole nation. So he brought this uh, dawn prayer. Now, dawn prayer, you, sabi rito ni David, I will awaken the dawn. Awake up my glory, awake, lute, and harp. It, it means that's worship. 
It's worship. So this is a very uh, appropriate uh, uh, sequel or part two of our worship warfare intercession. I will awaken the dawn. So, pagkagaling namin doon, ay nung dumating kami, we were late by two months. Kamamatay niya lang ng two months. And uh, me and Pastor, it was a very monastic uh, uh, way. Yung bawal magsalita, tahimik lang kayo. You speak in whispers and then you just pray. You just, uh, uh, you know, wait on the Lord. We were there and, and for three days, I think, it was winter. It was very cold. Kami ni Pastor Red, wala kami usapan sa kwarto. You know, we just spoke in whisper. It was the recognition of the awesome presence of God. And the, uh, the, uh, the obedience of R.A. Tori III bore fruit because yung mga pastors na dinisciple niya, malilit na churches lang, began to uh, have this dawn prayer. Pag sinabing dawn, yung fourth watch yan, no? 3 a.m., 4 a.m., or uh, 5 a.m. Dawn is morning. You awaken, parang pagbugising mo sa umaga, you awaken the dawn. And this will develop a lifestyle. In fact, when we came, when we came back, we instituted, I mean, sa CLSF, yung dawn prayer. What I'm saying is, uh, if you prioritize pag awake pag wake pag gising natin worship kagad to everybody in south korea praise whether presbyterian methodist pentecostal baptist all of them have dawn prayers and at the peak of those dawn prayer uh, season for many years ko ani sunday attendance let's say 5000 which is a small church sa south korea 5000 is a small church in south korea because there are churches of 750,000, 250,000, you know. And uh, kung ano Sunday attendance, yun din ang attendance ng dawn prayer nila. And, and the result was that revival hit South Korea. More than half of the South Koreans, which was before less than 1% Christian, it's a, it was a Buddhist nation, more than half got saved. Gusto ba natin mangyari sa Pilipinas yan? Palapon natin ng Panginoon. Malakas sa palakpak. I will awaken the dawn. Okay. Marami nagtatanong, uh, what, what next after worship versus worship? The Lord spoke to me three things. Number one, stand in faith. Number two, awaken the dawn. Number three, and see the salvation of our God. So these are the outline of this message. Stand in faith believing that like what the Lord did in the time of King Jehoshaphat, he will powerfully intervene as he said through the prophet, the battle is the Lord's. The battle is the Lord's. Amen? Can we say that? The battle is the Lord's. Okay. But we have to do something. Sabi kay King Jehoshaphat, you position yourself. You, uh, you, 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 you be still and position yourself. Okay? So we stand in faith that what the Lord did enabled us to do nationwide, which was the largest worship mobilization of IEP in our 35 years of existence. We really took it seriously that the answer to this bullying of China is really worship. That's why worship versus Worship. Wala tayong worship masyado, but we have a lot of worship. And pag naghalaban yung worship and, war- and worship, worship always wins. Palapon natin ang Panginoon. Hallelujah. Because the battle is the Lord. So, this is the official uh, poster, which I really love. The rainbow colors are there. The West Philippine Sea is there. And this was the basis of that. Hearken unto me, all you Judah inhabitants of Jerusalem, and you, King Jehoshaphat. Thus says the Lord to you, be not afraid or be dismayed by the reason of this great multitude. Pag, uh, pag tinapat mo yung ating mga battleship, warship sa, sa China, China has the second largest uh, military, na, na, army, navy, and air force in the world, next to USA. At uh, 
lumiliit na yung gap nila. In fact, there are some areas that China is larger in um, force than the USA. Okay? But still USA. Thank God for that. Pag pinapili kayo, USA ba o China, anong pipili nyo? Yeah, USA. Because USA is founded on the Bible. The, the government or the nation, I should say, was founded by the pioneers of USA. They are Christians. They are, they are pilgrims from uh, England who established the nation on the Ten Commandments. Okay? China is an atheist, officially atheist, communist, uh, socialist state. Okay? Pag pinapili kayo, of course, we go to the roots of this nation. We go to the foundation of this nation. The battle is not yours, but the Lord. So this is what we uh, uh, stood uh, for when we launched this. June 12, our Independence Day and Feast of Pentecost. So JCSGO, <clears throat> after the kickoff launching, the 72 WW rolled to IAP 7 Unified Commands. We have, we have restructured our network to, to be patterned after the AFP. Anyway, A at saka I lang yung pagkakaiba. Hallelujah. Armed Forces of the Philippines, intercessors for the Philippines. Covering the entire 17, 18, 18 regions of the country from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Ito yung sa uh, IFP, no? Nakita niya yung seven colors of the rainbow. So, which was inspired by our worship. Uh, Soaring with the scepter of strength, when in, on this very place, the Lord showed me banners unfurling in, in seven different golden colors, and then they became angels, so forth and so on. Then we launched during the pandemic, during the uh, uh, three, uh, two and a half year pandemic, this uh, soaring with the scepter of strength, declaring the seven redemptive names of God. Jehovah Shidkenu, red. Jehovah Rapha, orange. Jehovah Shama, yellow. Jehovah Jireh, uh, green. Jehovah Shalom, blue. Jehovah Rohi, indigo. And Jehovah Nisi, violet. The seven colors of the rainbow. We declare that. The seven names. And the, this was the uh, commands. So, yung mga regions, uh, look at that. Every one, one... Uh, one region, of course, NCR is 17 uh, cities, municipalities, but one, re one uh, command is composed of uh, about four or five regions. Except Palawan, singularly, is lang siya sa West Philippine Sea, the West Command. By the way, we're going to Palawan. We're, we're going, after this, we'll have a board meeting to discuss uh, how to strengthen the prayer movement in Palawan. Why do we need to stand? Ephesians 6.10 says, Basahin nga natin, malakas. Finally, Four. Wherefore, so in only three times the Paul say Ephesians chapter six, we stand in the evil day. And his word stand is his me in Greek to abide, to covenant, to continue to hold up. You know, if it's a being a Greek, so he stand in the evil day and having done all having done this 72 hours having prayed for 35 years for this nation in IFP we stand we stand in faith amplified bible therefore put on the complete armor of god so that you will be able to successfully resist and stand your ground in the evil day of danger and having done everything that the crisis demands to stand firm in your place, fully prepared, immovable, and victorious. Okay, ito amplified version. Stand firm in your place. 
Fully prepared, immovable, victorious. We are advancing, Panginoon. Hallelujah. We are advancing. We are advancing. It's like David running towards the giant. We are not backing track. No, we are advancing. And then, sabi, sabi nito, you stand on that position. You stand after 35 years of praying. You stand after the 72 hours worship warfare intercession. You stand. You don't back down. You don't lose your faith. That's why we're not repeating again this thing because we believe that after we did that, something happened in the spiritual realm. Palapon natin, Panginoon. Yeah, the expose. Because dalawa ang invasion ng China. External, physical invasion. Internal, infiltration. And the Senate investigation now is unfolding, is opening a can of worms. Palapon natin, Panginoon. It's like Pandora's box. Now open. Now, now, now uh, freeness na yung mga asset nitong fake na Pilipina. Okay? Na kinuha niya ay yung uh, nag, nagnakaw siya ng uh, identity doon sa isang uh, babae. And then expose siya sa Senate investigation. And this is, you know, expanding into more expose. After we did the 72-hour worship warfare intercession, these things happen. Palapon natin po ganoon. That's why we stand. We don't back down. We don't backtrack. No, we stand on our position. Secondly, because I'm given 30 minutes, awaken the dawn. This revelation came to me as uh, first. Uh, I was praying already after we did the June 12 uh, worship versus worship. What next? Okay, that's why when we met, so we will not repeat this again because we have done this. Yes, I am plano, no, baka the region. But sabi yun din, no? we seek the Lord. So, uh, ang uh, nangyari ay uh, the Lord spoke to me to revive the dawn prayers. I thought it was only for CLSF because we were about to do that, revive the dawn prayers. Um, but uh, when, we, when we had the culmination here of the dawn prayer, uh, oh, sorry, of the uh, worship versus worship, WWI, Kuya London, the uh, husband ni Atinona, I, uh, he opened in prayer and he quoted, uh, he said that the uh, Shera Madre na ating uh, sinadsad doon sa Ayungin Shore, Shoal, I 57. And then he recited Psalm 57. And then it, it was a confirmation sa akin na uh, what next It is what Psalm 57 says. Written by David when he was being pursued and sought by King Saul to kill him. He was in the cave of Adullam. And David's saying, I will awaken the dawn. When the enemy is trying to, you know, um, uh, trap you or, or, or hold you hostage, nakakatawa sa news natin, ang daming bansa nag align na sa Pilipinas. We just signed an agreement like, uh, like the Visiting Forces Agreement with Japan. Umaangal ang China, hindi dapat daw gawin natin yun. Anong pakialam nila, we are a sovereign nation. Amen? Palakuan natin ang Panginoon. In short, natitreten na yung China of what God is doing. We are not trusting this nation, but we are trusting in God who moves this nation to side with us. So, France, Australia, USA, Japan, dumadami na yung... In fact, they all recognize the unclosed decision except China. You know, uh, this is the devil or the dragon itself. We're not against the Chinese. We're against this principality. Kagayin sinabi sa Ephesians 6 verse 12. This will be the next prayer initiative of the whole series of an IAP network churches all over the nation. So ito yung next prayer initiative. The good thing about dawn is sustainable. It doesn't have to be long, one hour long, but you awaken the dawn with worship, with praise. And then you pray, you, 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 you pray and intercede for the nation. After that, you return back to your own. Magluto ng breakfast, yung mga wives, pasok sa opisina o mag-shower. You know, this sustainable and lifestyle. Lifestyle developing. Ito, Psalm uh, 57, VRP 57. 
Grabe yung ating worship, ano? Hallelujah. Pag lumapit sila dyan, matetetano sila. Hallelujah. Bahala sila. Psalm 57, the chief musician. Sabi dito, a miktam of David. Miktam means a poem of David. When he fled from Saul in the cave, be merciful unto me, O God, be merciful unto me, for my soul trust in you. Yea, in the shadow of your wings, I will make my refuge until those calamities be overpassed. I will cry unto God most high, unto God that performs all these things for me. He shall send from heaven and save me from reproach of him. Reproach. We're being insulted by this uh, dragon. That would swallow me up. Swallow me up, you know. My soul is among the lions. I lie even among them that are set on fire, even the sons of men whose teeth are spears like the dragon and arrows and their tongue a sharp sword. It's like describing the dragon. Be thou exalted. What's the answer? Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let thy glory be above all the earth. They have prepared a net for my steps. My soul is bowed down. They have digged a pit before me into the midst whereof they have fallen themselves. Sela. So yung trap na ginagawa ng enemy, siya ang malalaglag doon. Palapon natin na po ino. Hallelujah. What happens sa pangapi nila, pambubuli nila sa atin, the whole uh, international community is siding with us. Amen. Palapakan natin ng Panginoon. And then sabi rito, my heart is fixed. Ito na yun. O God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise. Awake up. Basahin natin. Awake up. Awake, psalter and harp. I myself will awake early or dawn. New King James Version, I will awaken the dawn. I will awaken. This is the New King James Version. Tapos sabi sa TPT or the Passion Translation, basahin natin, My heart, O oh God, is quiet and confident now. Ganda, my worship will awaken the dawn. Can you imagine the scene from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao? And for those who are joining us by Facebook, pag sikat ng araw sa inyong lugar, hindi pa sumisikat, you know, may worship na. Hallelujah. Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. I will awaken the dawn. Greeting the daybreak with songs of praise. Pasasalamat sa Panginoon. Palapakan natin ang Panginoon for that. My heart is fixed, O God. My heart, amplified version. My heart is steadfast and confident. I will sing and make melody. Awake my glory, my inner self. Ina-awaken mo yung spirit mo. Awake harp and lyre. I will awaken, I will awake right early, I will awaken the dawn. This is amplified version. I will awaken the dawn. 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 5 a.m. It's, it's your choice. May tinatinan kami sa, ano man tinatinan ng church growth conference. Ang gusto namin, church growth. Pero, para mangyari yon, you have to pay the price. You have to awaken the dawn. So, Matinkam says, ang Presbyterian Church, 2,000 ang capacity. I mean, this, this sanctuary can hold up about 450. Multiply this four times. At puno ang 3 a.m., puno ang 4 a.m., puno ang 5 a.m. I mean, 2,000, 6,000 of these uh, members ng church na ito. And the members of the church, about 10,000, which is a medium-sized church sa Korea, okay? But 6,000 of them are coming to the dawn prayer. Nang 3 a.m., 4 a.m., matin kami sa 5 a.m., uh, you know? And puno yun, puno. Nagtutulakan sila para makapasok. Jump pack. Puno yung one hour lang, one hour. After that, they go back to their uh, daily chores. 
I will praise thee, O Lord, among the people. I will sing the, uh, unto thee among the nations. For your mercy is great unto the heavens and your truth unto the clouds. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be above the earth. Every time. That's why uh, maganda sa, every dawn prayer nyo, basahin nyo to Psalm 57 in addition to and then you can read other scriptures. This is a good opening. You know, just 11 verses. You read that, and then you worship the Lord, and you pray. Hast thou commanded the morning since the days, and caused the day spring to know his place, that it might take hold of the ends of the earth, that the wicked might be shaken out of it? New King James Version, that the wicked will be shaken out of the earth. Parang kumuha ka ng mantel, hinawa kami apat na, na corners nito, hinawa ka ninyo, and then you shake. Lahat na nakapatong doon ay tatalsik. You shake the wicked. And it is in the dawn. Have you commanded the morning or the dawn? And cause the day spring to know his place. That it might, this is the place of the morning. Might take hold the ends of the earth and that the wicked will be shaken out of its place. God will do this. Hallelujah. Palapan natin ang Panginoon. And this is the post of uh, uh, Bell uh, Ocampo, the wife of Pastor uh, Jerome Ocampo of Jesus Revolution. They attended a conference in Indonesia and then they were prophesied over by Cindy Jacobs. And ito yung prophecy, the word of the Lord for the Philippines. Sa sabi dyan, on the 27th June 2024, as Mike and I were landing in Manila, he was, she was mentioning the last time that she came here. The Lord spoke to me while he was speaking. I felt an intense love for the Philippines in my heart. And this is what I heard. I called the Philippines chosen by me, chosen to be a model of reformation. Hallelujah. Siniwala it will happen. Kaya model, kasi sobrang corrupt natin, the sin of this nation appalls heaven. Na yung tumpogo na ito, for example, is just uh, 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 one of those uh, things that, that expose our hearts na lahat ay nabibili ng pera. I call the Philippines chosen by me. Sabi dito, chosen to be a treasure and jewel in my crown. The enemy wants this jewel. That's why China wants us. Parang na-distract nga sila sa Taiwan, tayong inuuna nila. Hindi magtatagumpay yan. Palapakan natin ang Panginoon. Hallelujah. So, this treasure in the land, especially the, I call the Philippines chosen by me. The enemy also wants this jewel and the treasures in this land, especially the rare earth. However, I have hidden weapon in the land and it is my prayer army. The hidden weapon of God is the prayer army. Tinan niya to, but we 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 uh, restructure IFP's network into like a prayer army, the seven unified commands, like a prayer army. Then sabi niya, confirmation to is my prayer army. Sabi niya rito, I am calling for continual fasting and prayer to put up a barrier against the threats of China. Okay, and then. There are packs being made. There are packs being made. Yung kinento kanina. And promises made to divide up the nation because of its stance as a first Christian nation in the Pacific Rim. So it's not just the resources of this nation that the dragon wanted to devour. It is our destiny. The first Christian nation. All denominations must stand together and pray. We will take this up sa ating next Palawan uh, Bishop and Leaders Summit that will be on November. But we have agreed to have a breakfast fellowship every month. Every month. So we'll take this up, this prophecy, because there are denominations na ayaw kay Sadu, pero si Cindy okay lang sa kanila. Hallelujah. Amen? The President is ito, the business leaders must fall on their knees in prayer and com companies, in their companies. The youth must fall on their face as well as the politicians. The president must call for a day of national repentance. 
If this is done, I will place my army of angels around the nation. There will be tremendous awakening that will come from the north and the south and the east and the west. Corruption will be exposed. That's happening now. Okay? Corruption will be exposed first in the church and then in the nation. The compromising church will repent. If the, Christian if the corrupt Christian leaders and politicians will repent, I will be merciful. But if they do not, they will, their fall will be great. Mindanao, this is your time. Rise up and take your place. You are a key. This is the day when the enemy wants to cause old wounds to flare up. But there's a time, a short time to pray and avert, uh, and avert uh, guerrilla. Beware of the communist and pray. Communist China. And pray for a mighty move of God on your university campuses for there will be a Jesus people movement. But Satan is trying to raise a counter movement. Do not say the communists are nothing for there are plans in making uh, to work with China. Revolts are planned, but it is my desire for it to be a Jesus revolution instead. Meron ng moogong na kudita, kudita. Nag-declare ng president na siyang survivor, survivor something. Ginagamit mo lang yon pag mamamatay ang Pangulo, so nagpapa, nagpaparinig na sila. Hindi magtatagumpay yan. Palapan natin ang Panginoon. Hallelujah. We will pray for the president. Hallelujah. Counter movement. Do not say the communists are nothing, for there are plans in the making to work with China. Revolts are planned, but it's my desire to be a Jesus revolution instead. Worship is the key. What did we do? 72 hour worship, warfare, intercession. Fill the churches and stadiums with worship. Worship will roll back the darkness, and you will see national, a national move of the Holy Spirit to raise up both revivalists and reformers. Reformers means it will influence the eight pillars of society. Let's lift our nation to God. This was recently, June 27, recent prophecy. And lastly, see the salvation of our God. So stand still, stand in faith, then awaken the dawn, and then see the salvation of our God. This God who always saves and come to the rescue of his people when they come to him and call up his name. There's a cause and effect. Amos 9.11, Sabirito, I will raise up the tabernacle of David, which is a continual worship. Sabirito, that they may possess the remnant of Edom and all the heathen which are called by my names. Also quoted in Acts 15.16, that the rest of mankind may seek the Lord. This is what happened in South Korea, the revival in South Korea. Okay? Yeah. There's a cause and effect. Of course, you're familiar with this. The Lord appeared to Solomon by night, said unto him, I've heard your prayer, the dedication of the temple, and I've chosen this place for myself as a house of sacrifice. So you wake up early, it's a sacrifice. Instead of you enjoying another hour of sleep, you sacrifice. You awaken the dawn. I shut up, when I shut up the heavens that there is no rain, or if I command locusts to devour the land or I send pestilence among my people, basahin natin, if my people there's a cause and effect. You do this, sabi ng Lord, then itong gagawin ko. Okay? I will heal the land. Call unto me and I will answer you. So this is what we do. And then show you great and mighty things which you know not. I exhort therefore the first of all the supplication, prayer, intercession, and giving of thanks be made for all men. Four kinds of prayer. Supplication, which is allowing, crying out to God, because of a heavy burden. Exodus 2, Exodus 3, they cried out to God and the Lord sent Moses. Interse prayer, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all men. For kings and all those who are in authority, that you may lead a quiet. So there's a cause and effect. You may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and reverence. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of the Lord God our Savior, 
who will have all men to be saved and come to the knowledge of truth. What more shall I say? For time would fail to tell me of Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jephthah, you know, David, Samuel, and the prophets, who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mount of lions, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the heads of the sword. Out of weakness they were made strong. Out of weakness they were made strong. And wax valiant in fight, turned to flight the armies of the armies of the aliens. So the Lord used this men and women of faith. They subdued kingdoms. They wrought righteousness. They obtained promises. They stopped the mouth of lions. They stopped the mouth of dragons. Hallelujah. Quenched the violence of fire. There was a cause and effect. Vadaya. natin. And Savior shall. And the kingdom. So, hindi automatic that the kingdom will be established. There has to be saviors, small s, deliverers, small d, to go up to Mount Zion. What is Mount Zion? The place where, where you encounter God. Upper room was the Mount Zion, the early church. You know, Moses met God in the burning bush. That was his Mount Zion. So, you encounter God. And then, uh, you, di- di- you, di- you judge, you engage the enemy, the mountains of Esau. Is the enemy's uh, agenda against our nation. And then the kingdom will, shall be the Lord's. The kingdom shall be the Lord's. So it's not automatic that the kingdom will be established. There are three aspects of the kingdom. The present abiding reality, the millennial reign, and the, and the, uh, the eternal kingdom of God, I should say. The present abiding reality and the, and the, and the millennial reign. We are dealing with the present abiding reality that even before the millennial reign, we could experience righteousness. So Singapore, look at Singapore. The prime minister today, uh, Lawrence Hong, H-O-N-G, is a born-again Christian. More than half of the cabinet members of Singapore are Christians. They took their oath on their personal Bibles. It's a small nation, but prosperous nation. Why? Because there's righteousness there. Hallelujah. They govern the nation like a company. They hired technocrat, technocrats, you know, professionals to handle the different departments. The scepter of wickedness shall not rest on the lot of the righteous, lest the righteous reach out their hand to iniquity. Marami mga Christians in the legislative, in the executive, pag nadikit na sa wicked ruler, nagiging wicked na rin sila. That will not happen. That will not continue to happen. It will stop. This next seven years from 2024 will be years of revival, reformation, restoration, etc., etc. It will happen. And we will awaken the dawn. We will give it birth by awakening the dawn. Hallelujah. Amen ba? One hour. Just one hour. Because you have things to do in, 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 daily. But you can do it, it as a family. You can do it as a husband and wife. You can do it as a church. Before we were coming here, you know, from... Dito kami nagdodon prayer sa baba. You know. And, and you can do that. You can, it can be sustainable. And uh, hindi parang mahirap. First, it's, it's a discipline. Sabi ni Jesus, can you not tarry with me one hour? It's a discipline, and then it becomes a desire, and then it becomes a delight. Discipline muna, pipilitin mo yung, ano yung sarili mo, I will awaken my spirit. And then, it will become a desire, takes 21 days to form a habit, and then, it will become a delight. Hahanapin muna, pag yan eh, ginagawa mo lagi. I will awaken the dawn. Let's, let's all stand before God.